Now I would like to talk to you about the Ace Ball Pipes. But just before I speak about the pipes themselves, I'm going to talk to you just a little and show you a bit about the bellows. Now it's really important that the bellows are of the highest possible quality. And we are happy that we produce that. And I'll show you what, what I'm talking about. It's really important to have leather which is very thick but still has a good degree of flexibility. That means that you can get an action which is easy to manipulate but still gives you a good, solid, smooth action like that. And so that you're not pumping away like that and struggling. It's really at the heart of the pipe and it's giving you a great action. For those of you that aren't used to using bellows or are even a wee bit afraid to try, don't be. They're very easy to use. They just sit under your rib cage like that and then you put them around your middle like a normal trouser belt and after that it's just a case of trying to work at your low A note and keeping a good, as I said before, a good solid smooth action. Don't be, don't be working away like this. Just open the bellows out full, bring them in smoothly, open them out full and just keep that action going. And I would say for most people even in the first week you'll see great progress uh, and it makes life a lot easier. So there we are, that's, the, that's just a little about the bellows. Now we'll talk to you about the pipes themselves. Here are the A small pipes and like the D small pipes they're very very sweet in sound. It's a longer chanter, very similar in stretch I would say to for example a long practice chanter which is very easy to play and they don't take a lot of they don't take a hard blow they're easy to play both pressure wise and stretch wise and uh, the drones again like the D small pipes have a harmony drone they're tuned to A A E you have an E tuned baritone drone which gives a really beautiful kind of chordal sound to it and uh, you'll hear that a little later just when I'm looking there, I notice the drone switch, which I should talk to you about also. The drone switch is great both for the beginner and for the accomplished player. For a beginner who gets their pipes, it's very handy if you're getting used to bellows just to switch off your drones and concentrate on getting a nice steady pressure on your chanter. Start with a low A till it's nice and smooth and then move on to slow airs etc etc easy tunes until you think ah quite happy with that and then just switch your drones on switch your drones on and tune them and do the same trying to maintain a nice steady pressure with the drones you'll find that it will come quite quickly uh, it's it's not a difficult thing to master for the for the accomplished player or even for the professional player the drone switch is great because if you're playing with another instrument or doing a recording or anything like that it means that you can switch on a lovely chord sound as opposed to kind of growling in uh, roughly, roughly uh, in timing wise or sound wise where the drones should be. It means you can just switch them on along with guitar accompaniment or whatever and just get into your tune, uh, which gives a great effect also. So I guess uh, the A small pipes again are great for playing at home. They really are. They're great for sitting in front of the TV or just in a quiet room on your own and really enjoying your tunes. Or, as I say, you can play with other instruments also because they're in the key of A and we do our best to ensure that they're tuned to 440, which means that you should be able to play with any other instrument uh, without a problem. We, we do set up the pipes so that... Uh, they should come out the box and be ready to go. Tune to 440 and for for you it's just a case of playing them. Uh, the reed in the chanter is a cane reed with a wire bridle. In fact I could even show that to you right now if I don't break it. I'll show it to you right now. There we are. You can see it there with the wire bridle different uh, to our Highland pipe reeds but they're all scraped and adjusted for for you just to be able to play them but a good chanter reed like that should last you at least two or three years some people have them in for 10 15 even 20 years 
and the drones are rated with Easy Drones, which we find give a great sound, they're very stable and they're very durable. I mean, these reeds, once, once we set them up to the pressure of your chanter reed and get them going, they should last you just, uh, I, I mean, I've had mine in for six years without looking at them. So they do make life easy and they, they do provide a great sound and uh, are no, no problem whatsoever to deal with. So I think I've covered most of the points I wanted to speak to you about there. So again, I think the best thing I can do for you now is play a tune so that you can hear them. Thanks. Mm -hmm.